Cameron. Yes. Dodge. <laughs> Dodge it. Dodge it. Dodge it. This isn't actually that fun. Should I throw my pair at you? No. <laughs> you weren't going to dodge that very well. I was going to try to hit it away from me. <laughs> um, you know, honestly, that wasn't that fun. I think that we could have made that game a little bit more interesting. Yeah, it was basically just dodgeball, but not as good. With my hand. So yeah. dodge hand. Dodge hand. Dodge hand. <laughs> That's not as fun as dodgeball. Um, but you know what's really... like. We always play dodgeball in gym, but it's not actually really that fun. No, it's not fun at all in gym. I'm looking at you, gym teachers. <laughs> and I think part of that reason is because it's like there's no real point in it. Yeah. Like no one really wins the dodgeball game. No, they don't even like keep count. Like it's bad. There's no real referees. No. But maybe in a real tournament, yeah, there would be. And the DECA dodgeball tournament is back again <laughs> for another year, 12th annual. Wow. That That's means you were insane. five years old when it first started. I was five years old. Wow. Wait, no, you might have been. Well, it depends. Yeah, I was five. Four. Four. I was just about to turn five. Almost five. Yeah. So she was a child, and I was six. the esteemed age of six years old. Oh, yeah. Real esteemed. Well, you talked to Melissa Lamb, the president of DECA. I did talk to her. A common face around here, the many facets of Melissa Lamb. In a cheeky little interview, as the Brits say. Oh, so let's go cheek it out. Hi, I'm Cameron Duncan, and I'm here with Melissa Lamb to talk about DECA Dodgeball. So how are you today, Melissa? Good, how are you? I'm great. So first of all, what is DECA Dodgeball? So every year, DECA hosts this, like an annual charity dodgeball tournament. Um, we basically pay, play dodgeball in our gym and then raise money for our selected charity. So what's your charity this year? We're actually are doing our repeat charity. We did No Kid Hungry last year, and we were really successful with that. So we're going to do No Kid Hungry again this year. So no. what does No Kid Hungry do? So one of the reasons why we really love No Kid Hungry, um, they have a goal of ending childhood hunger in America. And the programs that they do like, are like nutritional food programs for families, and it affects kids right in our area. So we're making like, a worldwide effect. We're also helping out our community, and like, we're impacting the kids at our school in the Narsan School District and stuff like that. Oh, that's really great. So you said it's an annual dodgeball tournament. So how long has it been going on? This, is, this will be our 12th annual dodgeball tournament this year. Wow, so if I wanted to join, how would I go about that? Um, everybody in this school can sign up during lunches um, in the school store, but this uh, dodgeball tournament is also open up to people in our community. Like last year, giant, the giant workers at the local stores have signed up for our dodgeball tournament because it was in support of No Kid Hungry. Um, East Norton always has a team that joins. Um, alumni from Norristown come back and play dodgeball. It's a really great event for getting the community to come together and like really support a good cause. That's really great. So who else can help out with dodgeball? So if I don't want to play on a team, what can I do? So if you are a DECA member, you can help volunteer at our event, like working concessions, raffles, and stuff like that. You can also help by donating canned foods during our event because we will be collecting them for a while. Uh, you can also come support um, at our dodgeball tournament and buy tickets. You can also sell help buy raffles and get some really, really cool prizes and all that stuff. So if I just want to come watch, when is DECA Dodgeball? DECA Dodgeball will be Friday, April 7th at 7 p.m. Okay. And if I'm on a team, is there anything special I have to wear? Is there a uniform? So we actually do give prizes on Most Creative. Student Council always does like a really cool like theme for theirs, and they're called like the Council. Alumni come back and they wear like fun stuff. So if you are the most creative, but you can't play dodgeball, you'll win a prize for that. Um, you'll win a prize for winning, of course, and stuff like that. So why should people come to dodgeball or join a team? So as I said earlier, like our charity this year is No Kid Hungry, and it's a really really great cause that. Um, helps benefit many, many people in our area and around the country because childhood hunger is definitely a problem. And I think one in five children actually don't have like proper nutrition when they go home for the weekends. And this program really helps not only give them food for them, but they also help teach what it means to be like healthy and like tries to um, gear them up for a lifelong life of like nutrition and health. It's because if it's learning like to be healthy, that you can get out of being hungry. Okay, so do people sponsor the tournament? How do you like go about paying for it? So um, since Deca Dodgeball is usually a really big event every year, we do have sponsors to help us put it on. So currently we have um, people like P.F. Chang's, Phil Ta Phil's Tavern, and um, people like that who give us gift cards or help us fund our raffles, concessions, stuff like that. Um, 
every year we do have lots we have last year we had about like 20 25 sponsors and they really um, impact how well we do um, just like by do like how many donations we would get to donate to no kid hungry so the more sponsors we get the better we can make our event and the more people we can benefit so are you still looking for more sponsors this year yes we are so um, our sponsorships are due April 3rd uh, so we still have time to get sponsors but the more sponsors we get the more people we can help can they just donate gift cards or can they donate other things like monetary? Uh, monetary donations are good, gift cards are good. Uh, also just like some people donate their volunteers. So like, like I mentioned the giant food team, they, do mm -hmm. they, donated their, like, they donated their workers to come and play our inner dodgeball tournament. Okay, well is there anything else important you would like to add that the viewers should know? Um, well sign up for dodgeball is due March 24th. So if you haven't signed up for dodgeball, you definitely should do that. Okay. Well, I'm Cameron Duncan, and I've been with Melissa Lamb talking about DECA Dodgeball. Now back to our hosts.